welcome you all to the ninth annual Men Having Babies Surrogacy Seminar and Gay Parenting Expo. Our, uh, our organization has really exploded over the past year and there's some incredible announcements that our executive director is going to make just prior to the uh, second seminar at 1.30 today, or the second panel discussion at 1.30 today. So you need to make sure, trust me, you're going to want to be here for those. Um, I do want to tell you today we have more service providers and parents coming in than, than we've ever had before. And we are all here for one reason. We're here to meet you and we're here to answer your questions. I guarantee you at some point today you are going to feel overwhelmed. The, the prospect and the decision to have a family is so personal and so complicated and the idea of uh, surrogacy and in vitro fertilization is so daunting uh, at times. All I ask is that you really push through those feelings. To go to each and every table, to meet every service provider, to go to the breakout sessions, to ask every question that you can. Because chances are the people who are going to help you have your family are in this room today. Uh, they were for my family and I know how much, uh, how freaked out I was when I was here before. But it really is um, uh, an incredible, incredible opportunity to have all of these people in one place. Um, please take advantage of it. Uh, I do want to bring up, I do want to bring up uh, Sarah K. Lax. Is Sarah here uh, from the JCC? Uh, they are our host and our co-sponsor. Uh, uh, she is with the, no? Oh. Okay, we'll bring her up at 1.30. Uh, but I do want to thank her because this facility is incredible and we would not have been able to do this without their really, really generous uh, support of our organization. I also want to thank other uh, partnering organizations, the Bedford Research Foundation and their special program of assisted reproduction, who part were partnered with us to bring us the special panel at 5 p.m. today on parenting for HIV positive men. This panel is also co-sponsored by GMHC, the world's oldest provider of HIV AIDS prevention, care and advocacy. Uh, and for the special panel at 6 o'clock, also, we have a panel speaking to your children about surrogacy and uh, gay parenting. And we would like to thank the Center uh, of Family Research of the University of Cambridge, who leads, in international, uh, who leads internationally in research about families like ours, and Family Q, a program of the Institute uh, for Human Identity. And of course, I really want to thank, we would not have been able to do this without the generous support of our sponsors, especially our platinum sponsor, uh, Connecticut Fertility. Can we have a round of applause, please? <clears throat> our gold sponsors, the Fertility Center of Las Vegas, Simple Surrogacy, Worldwide Surrogacy, Oregon Reproductive uh, Medicine, Conceivabilities, IARC, Open Arms, and New England Fertility. Um, if, the, if the panelists for the first panel want to sort of make their way up, what we're going to do now is I'm going to, we're going to split the service providers in half, basically. And I'm going to have them come up to the podium and give a one to two minute introduction of their organization, who they are, where they're located, so that you can find them afterwards. Um, uh, Dr. Doyle, would you like to come up from Connecticut Fertility? Good morning, and thank you, everyone. And um, I just wanted to say on a personal level how amazing and exciting it is to see this room get bigger and bigger every year. And I think it's, it's a testimony to what many of you are going to learn today, maybe for the first time, which is we've come such a long way with our medicine and technology so that this doesn't have to feel like an impossible journey anymore at all. In fact, it usually works, and it usually works in most clinics the first time, so that it becomes about choice, and it becomes about control, and it becomes about the things today is focused on, which are learning about your options, um, celebrating those options, and exercising them. So we encourage you to come visit us and everybody and get those questions addressed. 
Uh, Connecticut Fertility is a medical clinic in Connecticut about an hour from here. We have an office in New York as well, but we do all of our IVF and surrogacy work in Connecticut for very clear legal reasons. Um, we have our own donor program that we're very proud of and we love to talk about. We screen all of our donors in-house. We strongly encourage known donations and 90% of our egg donors are more than happy to meet you before their donation and in most instances stay in touch with you. We feel like from what we're told, that's real important. Not just to you maybe now, but even to your kids later on. Um, there's a, we're all gonna tell you lots of things about us and, and none of us can do it in two minutes. So I encourage you to, to come uh, meet us in our breakout sessions, which are from three to four today. Um, and like most of the clinics and agencies today, we're also doing uh, complimentary consultations and I hope to meet some of you there. But I, I wish you a great day and I congratulate you for being here. Thanks. Um, if the following uh, organizations could go ahead and come on up and get ready so we don't have to wait too long in between. Fertility Center of Las Vegas, uh, Simple Surrogacy, Worldwide Surrogacy Specialists, Specialists excuse me, uh, Organ Reproductive Conceivabilities, uh, IARC, New England, Fertility, Los Angeles Surrogacy Center, RMA, Connecticut, Creative Family Connections, Planet Hospital, and A Jewish Blessing. That will be the order of the introductions. But now can we hear please from... Dr. Danishman from uh, Fertility Center of Las Vegas. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. It's uh, thanks to the efforts of Ron and Anthony and the rest of the board members. We have a, a terrific uh, group of uh, clinics and agencies here. All of us uh, are here to help you. Um, as I was talking to a patient yesterday, the, the process can be a little daunting, but um, I think it's through effective and great communication with our patients that we hold their hand throughout this incredible journey to parenthood. Um, as a father to, to three children, I understand the, the, the incredible journey this is of, of parenting and, and having children. Um, and I'm just very excited and, and blessed to be in, in, in a position and have an opportunity to, to help you uh, achieve that uh, goal and, and dream as well. Um, we really, at, at the Fertility Center of Las Vegas, we've been at a center uh, of fertility for 26 years. We're going to celebrate our 26th year next year. Um, we do a great deal of clinical research, and uh, that's really a, a, has been a great um, way in order to, for us to improve and uh, excel at pr our pregnancy rates. Uh, we really, really provide a great deal of emphasis on constant communication with our patients, whether it's by Skype, by email, by our, our personal cell phones. We're always available to you anytime you need us. Don't hesitate to call us. And uh, please, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to come and ask. So again, thank you again for the opportunity to be here and um, look forward to meeting you. Thanks. Great. Simple surrogacy. Hi, my name is Stephanie Scott. I'm the owner and executive program director for Simple Surrogacy. We're based in Dallas, Texas. I've uh, been in business for two, or I'm sorry, for almost 12 years in January. We've had a little over 325 babies born through our program to date. Uh, we were the first agency with our attorney to be able to get a pre-birth order for a same-sex couple in the state of Texas, and this just happened three weeks ago for one of my antenna fathers who had twins. Um, so that was an amazing feat. Um, we work in just about every state as far as surrogates go. Uh, we only work with uh, the states that you can either get a pre-birth order, get a name on the birth certificate, get a second parent adoption. Um, so, you know, we can go over all those options with you when you come in for a consultation. We are holding breakout sessions today. So if you're interested in learning more about our program, I would uh, be happy to meet with you. And I'm also holding private consultations here until 10 p.m. Thank you. Worldwide surrogacy specialist. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Vicki Ferrara. Um, I want to thank Ron Poole, Diane, and everyone from Men Having Babies for inviting you and for having us. It's a really great opportunity for us to present our program to you. I'm a lawyer. I have offices in New York City and in uh, Connecticut. I have a law firm, and I also am the owner and uh, legal director of Worldwide Surrogacy Specialist LLC. We've been a surrogacy matching agency for the past eight years, and we've been um, conducting surrogacy journeys in a 
successful way for uh, many intended parents over these last uh, eight years. I am uh, the lead lawyer, was the lead lawyer for an important Supreme Court case in the state of Connecticut called the Raftapol case. It was the, uh, the case where we um, made sure that an intended parent who's not genetically related to the baby can be named as the legal parent prior to birth. So it was the first uh, state Supreme Court case that came down in the United States for um, this purpose. So we were really proud of that case. And um, I'm gay. I come to alternative family building in a personal way. I have two children, um, one uh, boy that we gave birth to uh, via an anonymous sperm donor and the second um, son that we adopted. And um, we give free advice on getting through the teenage years <laughs> as well as um, helping you have your baby because it's a whole uh, different ball game. <laughs> I often say I have PTSD from getting my first son through ages 16 and 17. But anyway, please please visit us and also know that we give a free consultation at either our um, pa Park Avenue office in New York or at our Connecticut office. Um, it, it, so if you want to come and just talk about all the information that you're getting today and just visit with us and me and uh, we'll answer your questions. We would, we would love to meet you on a one-to-one -one basis either today or at a private meeting. Thanks so much. Oregon Reproductive. Good morning. My name is John Hesla. I'm the medical director of Oregon Reproductive Medicine, and it's really a pleasure to be here today. Um, many of you in the audience probably wonder why someone from Oregon is here in New York. Um, we are quite a ways away, but we actually treat a lot of patients from the East Coast as well as patients from Europe, the Middle East, um, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. And the reason why um, people come to us for care is that uh, for many years we've had very, very high pregnancy rates. Our pregnancy rates are published uh, in the Society for Assisted Reproductive Technology website. And about 10 years ago, men started um, finding us just serendipitously. So our, our practice has really grown, and we really now uh, have a big focus on helping men from throughout the world. And um, I'm really pleased to say that there are people here at this meeting who've had children through our clinic. Um, Oregon is a very surrogate-friendly state, and we're here today with Northwest Surrogacy Center, the leading agency in Oregon. Um, so it's actually very easy to coordinate treatments long distance. Um, many people from the New York area love coming to Portland because we have great restaurants. It's a very friendly city. Um, it's always in the New York Times now as a place to visit. So we'd welcome um, helping you. Um, my goal is to really, really be your advocate. So, um, and I, I'm very glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Conceivabilities. Good morning. Uh, my name is Kate Summers. I'm here, as you said, with Conceivabilities, along with my colleague, Deb Levy, who is our Director of Surrogacy. Um, we're thrilled to be here today to tell you about our program, which offers surrogacy and egg donation services. Um, we are a comprehensive, full-service agency that uh, can assist you from start to finish in terms of matching you with uh, the perfect surrogate and egg donor. Um, we invite you to come stop by our, our table today. We can show you a little bit about our egg donor. Um, we've got a database on Line. Um, we invite you to, ch to check that out with us. Um, and really what we want to do is help you find um, the, the perfect you know, couple of people that are, are going to help guide you through the process, from your surrogate to your egg donor, uh, to the medical facility that you need to work with, to legal aspects to insurance, many of whom are here in this room, we want to act as a liaison uh, to help you through that process. We want you to be able to um, you know, put this in our hands and help us guide you uh, through this process. So stop by. Deb will be here today uh, offering consults um, at, at 5, um, and she's also going to be available in our breakout sessions at 420 and 440. So we hope you'll come by and say hello, and uh, let us tell you a little bit more about our program. IARC. Good morning. I'm Steve Snyder. I'm the owner and director of the International Assisted Reproduction Center. 
I'm an attorney that's been practicing surrogacy law for more than 30 years, and the agency that I own and operate has been around for just as long, so we have a deep history of experience to draw on to help you on your journey. There is absolutely nothing I can say in one or two minutes <laughs> to make you want to work with me. <laughs> However, I want you to understand that your journey to have parents is something about which I care intimately about simply because I've had two children and I know what it felt like to receive that first wiggling bundle into my arms and to have all the emotional doors open up inside of me that I didn't know existed. And it is that experience and the experience I've had raising my two children to the ages of 28 and 26. So I've been through the terrible twos, I've been through the teenage years. If you ask my daughter what she was like when she was 14, she will look you directly in the eye and say, I was evil. <laughs> so I understand every stage of the journey you wanna go through, including the age when they get to be adults and they're your best friends. My daughter now works with me in my agency and she knows that she's more indispensable than I am. And if you ask anybody in Israel, which is a place where we do a lot of surrogacy, who IARC is, they will say, Keely, not Stephen, my daughter. I started out life as a high school English teacher. I believe in the power of education. I don't want to sell you on using me, but I want to educate you on your best path. So if you take the time to either come to my sessions this afternoon or to meet with me tonight, my promise to you is, I will help you with all the questions you have, all the information you need, and I will help you find the best place for you to pursue this dream, whether it's with us or with someone else. But I agree, as Anthony said, the people you're gonna work with are in this room. It may not be us, but I wish you luck on your journey. New England Fertility. Good morning. Uh, my name is Gad Levy. I'm a physician. Uh, I own the New England Fertility Institute, which is in Stamford, Connecticut, not, not very far away. Uh, we've been a practice for over 20 years, and uh, we do quite a bit of egg donation surrogacy, um, have quite a bit of experience working with uh, same-sex couples, international couples, and, and so forth. Um, I, I um, first of all, overwhelmed by the uh, turnout here. I think it's wonderful. And I do believe this is a really good opportunity for you to start gathering information. I always know in these meetings there are people that are in different stages of the journey, some just beginning and some actually that we meet every year that are not quite there yet. Uh, but I, I, I think the way I feel about this, and we're very passionate about doing this is that, you know, it sounds like a very complicated, in fact, if you sit in consultation and you spend an hour and get all the details, I think most people leave with their head spinning. And I, I think at the end, and I think it's like this in medicine in general, uh, you just have to find someone that you connect with, you can trust, that can, you think they can help you, and trust that they'll do a good job. And then you basically can focus on the things that are really important. Um, and in this case, you know, obviously making a decision that that's what you want to do, making a decision about the agency that you want to work with, the clinic, and then basically more of the technical things, whose sperm you're going to be using, how many embryos you're going to do. So it takes away a lot of the anxiety and allows you actually to focus on the things that, that really count. So uh, thank you for being here. Los Angeles Surrogacy Center. Hi, I'm Don Marmerstein. I'm the founder of Los Angeles Surgacy Center. We have an office in Los Angeles as well as in San Francisco. I'm also a four-time surrogate mom. Three of the four times I carried for a gay couple. All of them are very, very happy and I'm thrilled. Our agency just had its first recipient parent, or parent welcome its second baby. So now they're also a gay couple. They have a boy and a little girl. And we are very, very excited and we have a lot more recipient parents. I also have a um, show called the ABCs of Surrogacy on Blog Talk Radio, where I work with um, 
fertility providers, lawyers, et cetera, educating you properly on the surrogacy process, because unfortunately online there's a lot of misinformation on what's out there. Our agency has a mandatory wellness program for our surrogate moms. The most important thing at our agency is growing the healthiest baby possible. So I'm working with top experts to educate our surrogate moms on preconception nutrition because it's important. Those can um, prevent a lot of unnecessary pregnancy complications that can arise by making sure that they um, have certain vitamins and minerals that maybe they're deficient in. So we're working on that. We're also working on making sure our surrogate moms only have cesarean section when medically necessary. So I'm very, very much into the health and welfare of your child, and that is the number one focus of our agency at the moment. I have a 320 breakout session if you wanna hear more about how we can help you grow the healthiest baby possible. Thank you. RMA Connecticut. Good morning and welcome everyone. I wanna thank the organizers for this event. It's truly uh, an amazing time to be thinking about having a family and being a gay man. I'm the medical director at RMA of Connecticut. We, um, we have four offices in Connecticut. Our office in Stanford and Norwalk are close to you guys. Our IVF center is actually in Norwalk. We do about 700 uh, egg retrievals a year. We have a separate team for third party reproduction, which is the team you guys would be on. And, uh, and the, uh, what I like to do, because it is a hard process to get through, is we do have some free Skype consultations at night, because I know everybody's working. So I, I regularly do those between 6 and 9 p.m., and we, we, could, we can coordinate those. The other thing is, is, as a gay man who's kind of worked through these steps, uh, we've also built out a separate website that, that is called Gay Parents To Be, and it's a little bit more medical and focuses on kind of some of the steps to, to, that you have to think about going through the process. And it has a wonderful blog and a wonderful Facebook. There's over 3,000 likes at this point. I'd encourage you to use that as you gather information. And I'm honored to be a speaker here today, so I'll stop talking now because you'll hear more from me. Thanks. Creative Family Connections. Good morning. Um, my name is Diane Hinson, and I'm the founder and owner of Creative Family Connections. We are a law firm and a surrogacy matching company all rolled into one. We do that um, for two reasons. One is because everything you do during surrogacy is going to be informed by the legal ramifications, and I'll talk about that when we get to the panel. And the other is to protect you as the people going through it, because surrogacy is a very unregulated field, but lawyers are incredibly regulated, so your interests will be very protected, your money, your everything about it. So we do that to protect you. Um, when I founded um, this firm, um, I, our founding principle is because everyone can build a family, and that's just our identity. I started as a single mother, and I just totally believe it's our passion, um, non-traditional families. And um, we were the first ones to get a pre-birth order in Maryland for um, two dads, and everybody said to me, you can't do it. And I'm like, why not? And we did it, and um, we're working with legislatures. We're just a train ride away. We're right in the D.C. area, um, but we also do Skypes. We work with lots and lots of clients from this area. We work with lots of the clinics here. We work with people all over. And what we try to do is just make the journey as happy an experience as possible for you because that's what it should be. It's an incredible, incredible experience, and so we try to do that by guiding you throughout it and allowing it to be a happy and legal and ethical experience. So I look forward to meeting lots of you during the day today. Thank you. Thanks, Planet Hospital. Good morning. My name is Rudy Rupak from Planet Hospital. Uh, we're the company that's offering a all-inclusive uh, surrogacy program with an American donor in Mexico for $39,995 at that booth over there. Now, I don't know, an Indian outsourcing, go figure, eh? But uh, now, we're not here to compete with many of our colleagues here that are offering surrogacy in America. I think they offer a, a very fantastic service and a quality service, but it's not affordable to everybody, so we're just an alternative to those who are looking for an affordable solution. A little about us, 
We were the first to do surrogacy internationally. Our company's been in business since 2002. We're 11 years old. We've been in the Better Business Bureau since 2002 as well, with a good rating, uh, A rating. Uh, we uh, started surrogacy in India in 2006. We were the first to do gay surrogacy in India. We then opened up uh, surrogacy in Panama. We were the first to do an international HIV uh, surrogacy, uh, you know, when people were rather afraid of something like that. Uh, we now introduced surrogacy into Thailand, and of course, we're the first to in Mexico as well. Uh, we're also uh, proud to say we faced down the Westboro Baptists, who used to protest in front of our offices, uh, you know, completely upset that we're helping, you know, gays have kids. Go figure. But my wife said, don't let the crazies win, and that's why we're still fighting on. Uh, we're, uh, for this conference, we're offering a special uh, in which uh, those who sign up uh, or mention the conference will get uh, two nights free in Cancun when they go do their, uh, their semen delivery uh, deposit. And we're also donating uh, $250 to uh, CPAP, the, uh, 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 sorry, C uh, GPAP, excuse me, <laughs> which is the fund to, for people uh, that are trying to raise money towards their surrogacy program. We offer a very unique and innovative uh, financing program. Unfortunately, we only have one uh, breakout session at 4 p.m. today at uh, Classroom 2L1, and uh, we'd love to answer your questions either there or right over there. Thank you very much. And last but not least for this section, we'll have that second section uh, just after this panel, uh, a Jewish blessing. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank Ron and Anthony and all the amazing people who put together this spectacular event. I'm very honored to be here today. Um, I run, I am the founder of A Jewish Blessing and the co-founder, along with Lynch and I, who's back there, of A Journey to Blessings. They are both uh, egg donor organizations. Uh, Lynn and I have uh, over, I'm going to make myself uh, seem really old right now, we have over 63 years of nursing experience together. Uh, we are incredibly passionate about education, um, support services. We know how incredibly daunting this experience can be for all of you. Um, and so we are here to offer free education and support services to anyone who would like to come over and say hi to us. We'll be also at a breakout session at 420. Uh, we've been screening donors for the last 15 years, and the last eight have been a private practice. And it has been an incredible honor to be working in this community. So I thank you very much. I'm very excited about being here.